I thank you, Madam Franciscans International. The floor is yours. Mr. President, seven international and regional organizations make this statement in solidarity with I Defend Para and TFTP. We are deeply concerned about the deteriorating human rights situation in the Philippines. The war on drugs has resulted in an estimated 12,000 killings since June 2016 and has been extended until uh, 2022. The government continues to shield the police force from any accountability. We strongly condemn increasing attacks against human rights defenders and political activists, including the placing of the UN Special Rapporteur on Indigenous Peoples' Rights and other defenders on a terrorist list, and as well as the murder of eight Indigenous environmental rights defenders from the Lumad community on 3 December in Lake Cebu, Mindanao, by members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. We are concerned by attempts to suppress dissent. On 11 January, the Securities and Exchange Commission decided to revoke the registration of Rappler, an independent online newspaper that has reported on unlawful killings in the government's war on drugs. This was followed by the President's decision to ban Rappler from covering presidential events. We call on the Philippines to end all killings associated with this war on drugs, end the intimidation and harassment of human rights defenders and journalists, and cooperate with UN special procedures mechanisms. We call on the Human Rights Council to hold the Philippines accountable to standards expected of council members and urge the council to call for the suspension of the Philippines membership over failure to uphold these standards. Right, Lastly, yes. 